Kamikaze family, this is Guys Little Chain 1090. So on to your today with a brand new review. And today, talk about something a little bit older. Today we're gonna to be talking about the Godzilla 2, the X Plus 30 centimeter Godzilla 2000, the Rick edition, poster, the poster edition. So I have a lot of mixed feelings for Godzilla 2000. Is it my top 10 of all Godzilla movies? No. So this is my top 10 of Godzilla designs. Maybe top 10, but not top 5. So, the reason why this is special to me is because Godzilla 2000 was the very first Godzilla film I saw in theaters growing up. So it was, I forgot the exact date I saw it in theaters, but I know it was in 2000, obviously. 2000, obviously. Yes, I'm showing my age, whatever. And I was a little wee lad. After seeing the debacle of 19, the 1998 Godzilla film, I was hungry for I was hungry for more Godzilla Godzilla goodness. And then I think it was X Men that I watched, watched when I saw the trailer for this. So as soon as I saw the trailer, I had to go see it. I was like, "Yep, yeah, nope, let's go. I'm going to see Godzilla in the theaters." Mind you, I was only only nine, ten years old at the time, so I really had to hope that my parents would want me want to take me to go see Godzilla 2000 theaters. And lo and behold, they did. Me and my whole family went. And when I first saw Godzilla 2000 come on screen, I was blown away. I loved the loved I loved the design. I loved I loved the movie. Now that I'm older, I know the movie does have its flaws. It's not perfect, especially the dub version. My Jesus, the dialogue in that movie, but. This movie, this Godzilla in this movie always held a very special place in my heart. Always and forever. And then, when it got released on VHS, there was, um, like, mo like most of y'all know, there, there, there's, um, we do have different cover arts for certain Godzilla movies. And the Godzilla, and for Godzilla 2000, the cover art for this one was, um, Godzilla in the, in, uh, and with the background, it was the city all destroyed, Fire everywhere and ogre, ogre in the back. So I always loved that design. That was the first thing I saw when I was a kid. And I would, we got it. We got released on VHS. Absolutely loved it. And this Godzilla's work that this is from. Like I said, this is the poster boy. This is the poster. This is the poster edition of Godzilla 2000. And of course, y'all know I'm bringing the camera up closer so y'all can look at all the awesome details on this figure because there's a lot of awesome details on this figure. And we're going to get into that. Thank you. And here he is. The X Plus 30 centimeter Rick Edition Godzilla 2000. Now, when it comes to Godzilla 2000, I know it's not the best film from some, for some people. It is for more often than others. It's kind of that film that's in the middle of most people's charts. Or they, either you don't like it at all. It's, and same with this design of Godzilla. Personally, I absolutely love this design of Godzilla. This, this Godzilla design is the first one I saw in theaters, like I mentioned earlier. So this Godzilla, this design of Godzilla holds a very special place in my heart. It always has. I can't help it. And the paint app on this Godzilla, particularly, is stunning. Absolutely incredible. I'll show you that off in a minute. Right now, I'll show you the articulation that really sold me on this figure, too. The fact that I can make him open mouth and closed mouth. I do prefer closed mouth a little bit, but there are opportunities and photo, sh photo shoots where, I'll be, where I can definitely use the open mouth feature. Because having both is honestly awesome. And now that I'm thinking about it, you probably should do that for most S Plus figures, if not all X Plus figures. You should be able to at least have that articulation in the mouth, since X Plus is general, generally... No articulation for the most part. At least they can at least give us the mouth as the, as the articulation. But back to this beautiful paint app. It's not just a regular charcoal black like most Godzillas are. And it's not the Godzilla. It's not Godzilla's color that was in this movie either, which makes it very interesting. We what we do we do have we do have charcoal black skin, but we also have red uh, red going down his back as well as well as his red dorsal plates. And the uniqueness of this version is it is the it is the poster version of this Godzilla. If you've seen the uh, seen the poster of Godzilla 2000, you'll see that this Godzilla is is black with black with red on his back 
as well as red on his dorsal plates. Which, that poster um, looks stunning. I absolutely love that poster. Like I showed you earlier, like I showed you earlier with the DVD cover, it, that that DVD cover is really beautiful. I really fell in love with that artwork when I f first saw it on DVD. Or oh, actually, no, I'm sorry. For me, it would have been VHS. But but the DVD I have is the same post art, so I'm, I'm absolutely in love with it, honestly. And on this figure, it just makes this figure pop even more than it already does. Because of course I know with Godzilla we usually just get regular charcoal black, but with this, but with the red shading on here, just mwah, chef's kiss, absolutely stunning. I wouldn't ask for anything more than this beautiful paint up. Even though I do love the original colors on Godzilla 2000, this paint up is gold to me. But of course I know we do have to get into some size comparisons, and I'll go ahead and do that right now. Thank you. And with the first size comparison. We are going to be talking about, of course, the Marquette Godzilla. So, as you know, I do really love the Marquette version of Godzilla 2000. Absolutely stunning design. I love it. And I know there's others in the com community like AJ Russo from Kaiju Live and others who also love the Marquette version of Godzilla 2000. But... Even with that being said, Godzilla 2000 holds such a special place in my heart. I really, really love, and that design is so dear to me. It's not even my top five, but I just absolutely love this design. Kind of the same like a high end with 62, like that. But you can really see the differences between the Marquette version and the, and the, the actual art that we, then the actual suit that we got for Godzilla 2000. The Marquette does look so much more fierce. His dorsal plates are more jagged. He just looks more of an evil Godzilla. Well, what we got was a more neutral Godzilla. This Godzilla doesn't look as... This Godzilla doesn't look evil to me, honestly. Like, this Godzilla isn't, like, a good version of Godzilla that I associate with striking fear into people. And I think a lot of people w would understand that as well. And of course, this Godzilla is a little bit bigger because with the in it, because with the Sakai, he is leaning a little bit. And of course, the reason why I brought up the 1975 30 centimeter Godzilla is because both of these releases did come out around the same year. Um, I think the 75 may be a year older. I don't remember. I need to double check. But both of these figures are roughly around the, the same came out roughly around the same year. And the thing that my only nitpick with this figure are the eyes. Y'all know with x lately, they've been killing the eye game lately. But with this version, you see that the eyes are just a little bland. With both of these figures, actually, the eyes are just kind of just painted on there. Especially, and especially with all the amazing looking eyes we have now in Godzilla figures, the eyes on here are very lackluster, lackluster. But from when I did watch Godzilla 2000, I get it because his, his eyes aren't anything, I guess, special. Even in the close-up shot of him, there's nothing really out there. In the, there's nothing in his eyes that really signifies, oh, that's Godzilla 2000's eyes. But as you see, both of these figures are both pretty big. You saw that the 2000 was bigger than, was bigger than the Marquette. And you also see that he's actually about the same size as Gamma from 1999. And of course, the reason why I bought this size is because both of these films came out this, the exact same year. Now, what always weirded me out was when I finally did see Gamma 99, it's incredible the differences these two films had on the genre. It's incredible to see how much better Gamma versus Ivers was versus Godzilla 2000. Now, even though Godzilla 2000 does hold a special place in my heart, and I will never talk bad about it, Gamma versus Iris in the same year was an absolutely much better movie. But even with that being said, both of these both of these figures do look amazing together. Both of these designs look incredible together. So we definitely have to show homage and respect to both of these monsters because both of these monsters are absolutely the staple of kaiju. And of course, I had to bring up the 62 Godzilla. And the reason why I did that was because Godzilla 2000 is based off the 62. 
if you really, really look at it with the arrangement of the dorsal plates, you can really tell that that they did take some liberties from the 62 suit to put into Godzilla 2000. You can tell just by looking at it that they both look very similar. Even when it comes to the even when it comes to the um, to the texture of the skin, it's not a huge difference between these two. So I really think that it did they did a really incredible job moder moder with modernization for Godzilla. When I first saw this design, I was absolutely blown away. I thought it was incredible. And I still really like this design of Godzilla. Especially after we got in 1998. The fact that we got this Godzilla after that was just awesome. I was a kid. I was so excited watching some theaters for the first time when this Godzilla came on screen. It was absolutely awesome. And we're back. And that's my view on the, th the X Plus 30 centimeter Godzilla 1999 South Godzilla 2000, the poster edition. So, the kind, in case in case you haven't seen this cover art, I, I did want to go ahead and show you what it looked like. So this is the cover art for Godzilla 2000. This miraculous cover art. Yes, it got transferred to DVD. Thank God, because like I said, with this this art here, I absolutely love it. It's stunning. And I mean, look at it. Expos did such a great job with the paint up, really showing this being the poster version. I absolutely love it. And there is one thing that I did that I that I didn't show y'all in the review, and that was the light up effect because this is a light up figure. Unfortunately, the the bulbs and the light up died. Um, so for photo shoots and stuff like that, I'm gonna try something a little, little bit different to try and get this get the translucent dorsal plates to light up. But as far as the light up effect and it working, it doesn't work sadly. I think the only one that it worked on was on this one when I tried it, and I was disappointed. But it's okay. Because at the end of the day, y'all know how I feel about light ups. I really just got this Godzilla because of the incredible paint app. The paint app looks stunning. This Godzilla looks stunning to me. I absolutely love it. Honestly, this may be one of my favorite pieces of this year. And I did get a lot of incredible pieces this year, but this has to be somewhere on that list. But alright guys, that's um that's all I got for this video. Of course, at the time of this at the time of this recording, um Either we, uh, at the time of this recording, we have had already had a discussion about the Millennial Retrospective, talking about all the Millennial films in the Godzilla era. So I'm very, I'm very, I was, that was, I know that's going to be a great show. So if I haven't seen that on Monsters of Attitude, go ahead and go back there to go watch that. And this, actually, this is going to be my last video of the year, actually. Of course, I got, of course, it's a holiday, so I still have to do all my, all my duties, all my daddy duties, making sure that I'm able to get, making sure that I'm going to, I have time to spend time with my son and my family during the holidays. So this will be my last review of the year. And, but it won't be the last thing you see me. Of course, on, 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 uh, Bearded Kaiju Review, Eric Stope, he's going to be having a show on December 31st. So y'all see me then on that show, as well as... The pre-show for the figure of the year discussion. I cannot wait to talk about the figure of the year this year. We have so many cool categories, so many, so many awesome contenders, so many contenders that could actually win this year. And remember, we are doing the voting on Kaiju Collectors on Facebook. So, if you, so definitely, if you're not, if you're not, if you haven't joined the first yet, go join us on Facebook so that when we do put the polls out. You'll be able to get your vote and have your word on who will be the next. Who will be the figure of the year for 2022? So, also speculations that it's going to be the 66 set. It very well could be. I still need to pick my figure of the year. I haven't made my decision yet, so I'm really excited to announce that. And ideally, I'll probably announce that during the pre-show. So, get ready for that. And, of course, I'll probably have another video out after that. I think the first video I have um, it for next for the for the start of next year is gonna be um, my my personal favorite pieces that I've gotten in this year. I have gotten a lot of incredible pieces this year, so I'll, so I'll have a video up for talking about all those releases and all everything that I that I was blessed to get this year and pick and choose which one's my favorite. There's a lot, and for that there's also a lot of contenders for that. So I'm really excited to talk to y'all about that as well. But until then. Um, like I said, jo join us on Kaiju Collectors, so when we do do Figure of the Year, you'll be able to go vote, as well as, if you haven't joined us on Monsters of Attitude yet, definitely go join us on Monsters of Attitude on YouTube as well. 
go ahead and uh, give us a subscription. Check out all, all our videos there as well. But, okay. Y'all have a fantastic night, Kaiju family. Thank <laughs> you.